wild star. Is it worth a buy, guys? Well, it's a brand new MMO. A MMO that people are seeing is better than WoW and better than Elder Scrolls. And, well, let's be honest, anything's better than Elder Scrolls. But it's the new WoW killer, guys. It's here. The new WoW killer is here. So let's read. Let's read all about it. Discover the legendary planet Nexus. Blast off for an epic adventure of galactic proportions. Choose a side and fight for control of Nexus while uncovering the secrets of the hyper-advanced Elden that disappeared from the planet long ago. I should warn you guys that this is not a full-on review. Um, it's an MMO. The only way you can really properly review an MMO is to play it right through endgame, stick 100 hours plus into it, and then you qualify to give it a full-on review. So this is more of a first impressions. It's kind of like a bit more than a first impressions because I'm a very experienced MMO player. I've played MMOs for easily 12, 13 years. Uh, all of them. I don't think there's any I haven't actually played. Um, so... I'm very qualified to do this, so I'll give you my honest opinion of how Wildstar feels as an MMO. Um, I've played it for about 10 hours, uh, played both sides, the Exiles and the Dominion, and I've played them on a PvP server. The character customization in this is brilliant. It's very similar to City of Heroes as far as the depth goes. Um, it's really, really good. There's different uh, types of character that you can have, races, and they all look different <laughs> but I didn't say good I said different because that's the problem I don't like the art style of this game it's very <sighs> kiddified it's cartoony and <sighs> I, I just you know really do I want to play a fucking rabbit do I no no I fucking don't want to play a fucking rabbit and that's the problem I was very impressed initially how you could choose to be on a PvP or a PvE server. That's how all MMOs should be, in my opinion. Um, PvE players have fucking ruined many an MMO over the years. Fucking ruined potentially good MMOs with their fucking whinging about getting killed. So when I see an MMO that has both PvP and PvE servers, I am so happy because all the all the PvE players can go and lick each other or whatever they do in a game, you know, I don't know what the hell they do, but yeah, whatever. Um, but the PvP players can have their war, can can get immersed, can get into the fucking game and start living the life of your guy in the game and feel the danger when you're questing of somebody coming up behind you and cutting out your spleen from the shadows. That's what it's all about, guys, and this game has that. Wildstar has PvP and PvE servers, so brilliant great start that's about it though uh that's about it guys i beg to report wildstar in my opinion is yeah i think is a good description of, of this game um i was i'm disappointed i I'm, i was hoping it would be it's not a wow killer uh any wow players go back there's nothing to see just go back to wow there is no reason no reason whatsoever why you should give up everything you've done in WoW to come over to Wildstar. It offers nothing, nothing at all, that a WoW player would go, Brilliant, I can ditch WoW after all these years and now a brand new MMO, yay. No, this, 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 this doesn't have it. It's the same old, same old. They've cherry-picked a few bits and bobs from Rift, from WoW, from other MMOs and kind of put them in, which is nice. Um, one of the nice things is your controls can be just uh, easily used on every single character you make without having to go through a f***ing blood test. Uh, I, I don't understand why all MMOs aren't like that now, but that's nice, nice thing. The graphics are really, really awful. You thought I was going to say nice there, but they're not. They're just cartoony. It's, it's, it's an MMO for kids, guys. I, I'm sorry, and the flack I'm going to receive is going to be huge, but it's 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 it's, it's an MMO for, for kids. It, it, there's nothing I've seen in this that tells me that this is any kind of MMO for adults who want a deep, meaningful, skillful experience. It's an MMO for kids and, and girls. You know, girls who wear them fake bunny ears. It's for them as well. They'll like it. You know the, you know the girls that have pink bunny ears? Yeah. 
Yeah, they'll, they'll like this. Uh, it's, yeah. Uh, let's start with the combat. The combat has received a load of press. Um, it's not your lock-on combat that you have in WoW, which is a good thing, because the WoW combat is f***ing pitiful uh, at times. But this one is slightly better. This is a bit like the child catcher in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. It lures you in with promise. But then when you get there, the curtains fall and you're in a f***ing cage of torment. Uh, that's a bad analogy, but that's the one I'm sticking with. It's better than a paedophile with a puppy, which was me the first one, which I've cut out. Uh, but so, because what it does is it gives you PvP and your PvE servers, and then it says, "Hey, look, no lock-on combat. This is proper skill-based combat." And you think, "Woo, yay!" So you go into the combat, and you know what it is? It's all f***ing telegraphed. When you, when you actually fight, um, you can turn it off, but loads of people don't. So you see their moves coming. It says, "I'm going to be shooting, and if you stand between that line and that line, you will be shot." Okay, so if I just kind of step there, then I'll avoid it. Yes, you will. Drat! Foiled again! Okay, I'm now going to turn and shoot at you again. And if you stand between that line there and that line in this arc, you will be hit, sir! Okay, I'll just double tap right strafe and roll over to the right then. Really? Yeah. So you can see all these telegraphs. So it tells you where to go. I mean, f*** off. I mean, really. So, but you can turn them off, but no one does. So what you end up in a PvP battleground is you just see a big splodge of boxes and flashes and bangs and numbers. You don't know what the f*** is going on. Everybody's doing the same thing. Spam the mouse buttons. Spam the mouse buttons. Everybody, that's all everybody does. I'm, I was playing as a rogue where I had a stun and I was trying to stun people and then come up behind them so that I could use me... Uh, kind of like backstab to be honest they all just have different names and get me crit uh, but there's so much going on you can't see fucking shit it's just it's ridiculous so I wasn't impressed at all with the PvP um, the combat yes in 1v1 and 2v2 it's a lot better especially if they have the fucking telegraph system switched off um, at least you can have a bit of a decent fight better than World of Warcraft in that sense but in the big battlegrounds it's just a bloody mess uh, the questing is mind-numbingly boring, as you would expect from any MMO. Go over there and collect six skunk tails, you know, pick up some dung from over there, check out that rock, you know, and it's just... Ugh. The story is just... I've, I, well, let's be honest. After the first two paragraphs, I've just clicked next, 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 next. I don't give a f I don't know who these people are, why they're fighting, and I don't give two f to be honest with you I just want me epics and I just want some fun in the game and there is no way on earth am I going to play 100 hours of this mind-numbing drivel to get to end game to have potential fun in a dungeon or in a big large-scale PvP battle I'm just not doing it because it's too boring it's too boring that I can't get into it at all I can't get immersed in this game because I find it boring I find the quests boring the narrative boring I find the combat boring it's the usual easy mix of bullshit PvE I mean we've been serving up this shit for 12 years why doesn't somebody come up with something fucking different man all this is is a WoW clone why clone WoW when WoW has 8 million people playing on it that are level fucking 90 and have sunk years into it and do you think they're gonna give up all that and come and play this they're not a few of them will but they'll not it, 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 it. you know what's the point this is gonna be free to play in a year at the minute it's 40 pound plus 10 pound a month you know, £9 a month, whatever it is. It's not worth it, in my opinion. You might beg to differ, but I just find it boring. I mean, the, there is some good things that I'm going to mention now. The class customization is good. Um, very in-depth. I quite like the way you can set out. You, you can only get eight abilities, okay, across the bottom. That's all you can get, but don't panic, because you can highly customize them eight to make you kind of unique, which I like. It. I would prefer double that, 16 or something, because, you know, I, I, I like a lot more variety in my combat. Um, when I played WoW, uh, I used to have, I don't know, maybe 20 or so abilities, all bound to keys and uh, me mouse buttons, and it did take skill because you had to use the right ability at the right time. I've got eight now, um, but 
they are much more customizable than, than, than in the likes of World of Warcraft. Uh, it's not a brilliant game. It's not a bad MMO. I mean, I've seen a hell of a lot worse. Warhammer 40k springs to mind straight away. There's not a really brilliant MMO out there, unfortunately. There's a big hole in the market for somebody who brings out something a bit more original than this. Uh, this just isn't original. Uh, there's a 12-day guest pass you can get. I highly recommend you try that before you sink any money into this because you may regret it big time. And yeah, there's a, it's getting a lot of hype and there's a lot of people playing it and I'm probably going to get flamed in it. But hey, this is my honest opinion. I'm not a WoW fanboy. There's no one slags off WoW more than I do. I f hate the way WoW's gone. It's just been dumbed down into shit. But there's, there's, there isn't a good MMO out there, guys. That's the, that's the truth. That's the bottom line. There is not a good MMO out there. We're still waiting for one. This isn't it, despite the hype. So, I'm going to say Wildstar is definitely, in my opinion, not worth a buy.